As Pennsylvanians go to the polls next Tuesday to pick their nominees for U.S. Senate, inflation is a key issue on the minds of so many. Last hour, we talked with the Democratic candidates for that office. Now in interviews with the Republican candidates, KDK political editor John Delano asked each of them for a solution. Rising prices at the gas pump, in the grocery store, at a favorite restaurant. Inflation is hurting us all. So it was a key question I asked the candidates. Seven Republicans want to be their party's nominee to replace Senator Pat Toomey. Recent polls suggest a statistical tie among TV celebrity Dr. Mehmet Oz, businessman and hedge fund CEO Dave McCormick, and cable TV commentator Kathy Barnett. With real estate developer Jeff Bardos, former ambassador Carla Sands, and Philadelphia attorneys Sean Gale and George Paquetto also on the ballot. Most had more than one solution to the inflation problem. Number one, we need to stop the excessive spending. What's the energy policies have turned us overnight from a net exporter of energy in America to a net importer. And that's driven up the price of fuel. Make the Trump tax cuts permanent and deregulate. It's the Federal Reserve is the reason why we have inflation. And right now, if you turn your television on, everyone is looking to the Federal Reserve to fix what they broke. They broke it. Now we're looking at them to fix it. That doesn't really make a lot of sense. So in the United States Senate, I'll be doing everything I can to help our fellow Pennsylvanians clear out the government, clear out bureaucracy, get pipelines in the ground. And until we can get the pipelines in the ground, make sure that our gas, oil, and energy resources are transported to market however it makes sense. Stopping the out-of-control spending, meaning I'm not going to vote on any of these big bad deal deals that are just, or big bad bills that are stuffed full of Green New Deal, uh, you know, regulation. So inflation is caused by printing of money and out of control spending. That's what causes it. And we've been run out of control in both of those places. And really, you have to start reining that in. So we need uh, federal legislation that requires the government, the federal government, to have balanced budgets. We can no longer afford this crazy deficit spending. Despite several requests, one candidate, Mehmet Oz, declined to participate, saying he was unavailable. On Thursday, we'll have more from the Senate candidates, both Republicans and Democrats, on the issues. John Delano, KDKA News.